today we're going to start our next topic vendor consignment so the topics that we're going to cover they are procurement process with consignment master data and settings required for vendor consignment post goods movement for consignment stock setter consignment withdrawal and display consignment stock so first of all we'll, we'll start with the business example now in brief uh, if i need to explain you what is consignment stock if you don't know then consignment stock is a stock when our vendor will put their stock on my company's premises but they are still the owner not us and we will consume the stock whenever we need and when we consume their stock which is on our premises in that case whatever is consumed for those consumption will pay to the vendor so this is the consignment so let's see in more detail using this example your company has arranged with a vendor to supply a particular quantity of consignment material to your company the consignment material is still owned by the vendor until you withdraw it from the consignment store or post it to your own stock you take ownership of the material when you transfer it to your own stock later you settle the consignment liabilities with the vendor monthly so let's see here with the vendor consignment overview so let's see what happens here so you can see here this is uh, our own company and here is the vendor or the consignment vendor so from purchasing point of view what will happen is we'll create a consignment purchase order and then the vendor will send the goods on our company premises so we'll receive the goods on our company premises but still they are the owner not us but we have that in our record that we have some consignment stock from inventory management point of view what will happen is we deliver the material and we have received the goods here in my company end and then at my company whenever i whenever we withdraw the material from those consignment stock in that case we are only liable to pay for that particular withdrawal so in that case we'll be paying them for the liabilities and from the invoicing verification purpose, uh, point of view what we'll do we'll do the settlement for whatever withdrawal we have done and we pay the vendor so the same thing we're going to see on practically on the server today so first of all we'll start with master data required for vendor consignment so what are the master data basically we need to to, to start the consignment purchase order so obviously your material we require and vendor and the other important thing is PI record we require with the consignment info category so when you create PI record using m11 you need to select the consignment type so let's do this uh, exercise first we'll create the master data first so what I will do I will be using existing vendor so let's say the vendor will use 10501 which is the old vendor material I will be creating a new one so I'll create a new material so I'll call it consignment one and I can copy it from say other material like Z demo one and it's a finished product so give the new description say consignment demo so keep pressing enter and go all the way through all the tabs and save it so we have our material ready is consignment one and then we also need to create the PR record 
as a consignment category so here you go go to m11 and um, 100 501 vandal use purchasing over thousand plant thousand and use the consignment the bottom radio button the the fourth radio button here as a consignment record press enter if there's a warning keep pressing enter press enter again here says standard quantity procured will be say one and here you can enter the price so i can say there may be price is 12 dollars and you can save it done so pi record is also ready so let us start creating a order so we'll create a consignment purchase order so the point to be noted mainly in the purchase uh, consignment uh, purchase order is that we use the item category k so k stands for consignment that i'll show you uh, the item category k has some attributes okay so the these will go to discuss once we create it so let me create me 21 and purchase order so 100 501 and here you need to select the item category k for consignment here you can see k use k and then enter the material that i just created consignment one enter the quantity say we need 10 say maybe not 10 say we, we want to put some stock case a thousand pieces we require in our company and it's asking for a plant enter the plant and there's some warning at the bottom just ignore the warning by pressing enter now here the point to be noted is that you can see the net price is grayed out it doesn't allow you to enter the price here even the price condition tab is not here is not available here even if i show you a, another purchase order you can notice that here you have condition see the condition tab here you click on condition and here you can see the price and all that but this condition tab is not there when you use the k item which is a consignment item for item category it's not here because sys and the net price field is grayed out so because system doesn't allow you to enter the price because the price will be coming via the info record later on so we'll discuss that later on so here is a purchase order and before we save it let me go through some uh, theory about the item category k so the item category k has the following features you must must enter a material number okay so when you use the item category k you must enter a material number that means in some occasion we have seen we can also enter some text item but in this case there must be a material master record you cannot enter a purchase order price or condition as i just shown you you cannot enter any price and the condition tab is not there you require a good receipt for the for the item this good receipt is posted to the vendor consignment stock and is non-valuated that means when you create a purchase order then you need to the goods received to receive the goods from the vendor into the consignment stock and this will be a non-valuated that i'll show you later on you cannot enter an invoice for the consignment item so that's saying that for invoicing you cannot use the myro transaction that we were using so far for the invoicing system for the consignment items or the consignment purchase order is totally different it doesn't use the miro transaction so that i'll be showing you at another topic how do we settle or how do we pay the vendor for the consignment um some more thing about the item category k so the item category k can also be used in the outline agreement and purchase requisition so that means you can you can use it also this item category in outline agreement which you can create as a reference for a purchase order or you can also use it in a purchase requisition so requisition will later will be converted to a purchase order automatically it will have the k item because the purchase requisition has the k item if a material is always procured for the consignment store stores of a plant you have the option to consider